The Hong GN12 or Red Arrow 12 also known as HJ-12 is a third-generation, man-portable, infrared homing anti-tank missile. It was unveiled at the Eurosatory 2014 exhibition. In July 2021, the HJ-12 was incorporated into PLA Ground Force Service. It is a fire-and-forget system utilizing lock-on before launch or LOBL, and is capable of being fired within buildings and bunkers due to its soft launch system. Once launched, it will home autonomously onto its target, allowing the operator to immediately take cover or reload to engage another target. Its fire-and-forget technology will reduce the number of anti-tank operators needed on a battlefield. The missile is capable of day-night all-weather operation with its infrared homing and TV imaging dual-mode seeker. The warhead uses a tandem-shaped charge design with an estimated penetration capability of up to 1,100 mm rolled homogeneous armor after penetrating explosive reactive armor, which far exceeds 750 mm of America's javelin system can achieve. As the world's mainstream man-portable anti-tank weapons, the essence of shoulder-launched anti-tank missiles is actually an armor-piercing rocket. Such special armor-piercing projectiles use chemical energy to penetrate tank armor. In the energy-gathering source of the conical charge, the metal shell in the warhead gathers to form a high-speed metal jet under the high temperature and high pressure formed by the explosion of the explosive. It allows extremely high pressure to be concentrated at one point to penetrate the armor, and achieve the effect of killing members of the inside a tank and destroying equipment. In theory, as long as the armor-piercing projectile warhead can contact the tank armor and detonate, it can form effective killing. This is different from other types of armor-piercing projectiles, of which the ability of armor-piercing decays as distance increases. Armor-piercing power of projectiles in HJ-12 preserves the same at any distance. It does not depend on the shell speed itself. Its penetrating power is mainly from the high-temperature metal jet converted by chemical energy. In order to deal with armor-piercing projectiles, modern tanks are generally equipped with composite armor and reactive armor to diffuse the armor-piercing effect. The effects of the armor-piercing projectile could have been severely weakened. As a result, top-attack anti-tank missiles that can attack the top of a tank where it is the weakest part of a tank have become the new mainstream. HJ-12 has a top-attack mode of ballistics. As a milestone in the development history of China's anti-tank missiles, the HJ-12 is the first shoulder-launch anti-tank missile that China uses infrared thermal imaging guidance and has the ability to forget after launch, which can effectively protect the shooter. The HJ-12 can attack the top of the tank using a mode of ballistics, or shoot horizontally to directly attack the target. Its armor penetration depth reaches 1,100 mm. At present, there is no tank in the world whose rooftop can withstand the blow of the HJ-12. There are four X-shaped wings in the middle of the projectile. It keeps the missile in stable flight. At the tail of the missile, there are four tail rudders with similar structures that can freely adjust the flight direction of the missile. This aerodynamic layout makes the HJ-12 extremely maneuverable in the air. In the live drill, the performance of Chinese anti-tank missiles was shown from the video that HJ-12 can be launched in a closed space such as buildings and bunkers. The missile is first launched by a takeoff engine and exits the barrel at a relatively small initial speed, which is about 30 meters per second by visual estimate. This ensures that when the missile is softly launched in a closed space, the tail jet of gas is less and will not endanger the shooter. About 20 meters away, the endurance engine is started, and the missile climbs quickly. About 10 seconds of flight time, it accurately hit a target tank. The HJ-12 missile uses an infrared focal plane array seeker, which is an advanced fully automatic, image-guided anti-tank missile. It can fight day and night, which also has the function of TV guidance or uncooled infrared thermal imaging guidance. That utilized fire-and-forget technology, it will home autonomously onto its target. It's about the same weight as the American Javelin, but with a 135mm caliber, that is much bigger than the Javelin. The HJ-12 uses tantalum tandem-shaped charge armor-piercing projectiles. This warhead has a lethality with a static armor-piercing thickness of 1,100mm. The American Javelin is only 750mm. If the direct shooting mode is used, the range of the HJ-12 is about 2.5km. 
With the top attack mode of anti-aircraft ballistics, the range can increase to 4 kilometers. However, for manned portable shoulder-launched weapons, it is extremely difficult to launch targets at 4 kilometers away. Therefore, the HJ-12 adopts a soft launch method to deal with this shortcoming. After identifying the target, the HJ-12 will first ignite the booster flight engine to push the missile in the cabin to exit the tube at a relatively small initial speed. The tail of the missile that exits at a low speed has a relatively low jet gas volume and will not endanger the shooter. About 20 meters from the ejection tube, the main engine then will automatically start, so as to quickly climb. This guided missile is also capable of engaging fortifications, helicopters, and boats. When facing non-armored point targets, bunkers and fortifications, the missile can be fitted with either high-explosive or thermal-effect warheads. The HJ-12 is China's first portable anti-tank missile, increasing the ability of the PLA ground force to have more modern and mobile infantry forces. It is intended to enable China to match up or surpass to anti-tank missile developments made by Western defense companies, like the FGM-148 Javelin and Spike. The missile is also available for export to armies in developing countries that would need to contend with third-generation main battle tanks, but the number of potential buyers is likely small due to its higher cost.